Okay, so this is reading number two. My phone ran out of storage space, so it just stopped. So sorry about that. So if you guys see in the description below, um, readings two and three will be here on this link. So now that you're here, go ahead and click in the timestamps to listen to your message for reading two or three, and I will see you all over there. So this is reading number two. Um, this reading, I feel more guided to do like a type of pillar foundation type of message and this is going to be a bit of past present future so we're going to see where the foundation with your love situation is at at this time so eight of wands the chariot this is the one card that flips over which is the weasel whoa how did i know <laughs> i don't know all these other cards though and then the lizard i like that i do like the weasel and the lizard message coming through here with the eight of wands and the chariot so what i'm seeing is the first foundation coming through recently, you had to let certain energy go and really retreat. It, things were, the energy was happening super fast, I'm seeing. And it's like, I'm seeing you, like, it was so fast, you didn't want any of it to spill over. But I'm just getting, like, in order for you to move forward during that time, like, I'm seeing, like, the, the best thing to do with that fast energy was for you to pull away. That's what I'm getting. Or that's what that's what you did with that fast energy. It came the energy was so strong and so quick, you moved forward by withdrawing. That's the first message I'm getting. Or someone did, or both of you did, or multiple if there's you know, if, there's, if this love situation is about like friends, family and, and, and more people, or if you're like in a polyamorous type of situation, whatever it all is. And then down here, we've got the cherry and the lizard. So the, the overall foundation of that, where that came from, what that gets to grow with is that you're actually balanced with this energy. We just came out of Libra season and into Scorpio season. So then Scorpio, I feel, is this lizard. So you're actually very balanced when it comes to where you want to go on your journey. And you're going straight towards your dreams. Towards your dreams coming true, honestly, is the message I'm getting there. So this is going to be a quick reading compared to my reading number one. That's the recent energy. Very quick. Um, I, I'm not getting very specific vibes. These are very um, more interpretive cards that I like to use. But I can get more specific if need be, but we will see. This one, we've just got one of the Oracle cards here, or one of the Cosmos Tarot. So we get the Jaguar, somehow the Ace of Pentacles reversed, and the Mountain Lion, the other card that I associate with the Jaguar, which is very similar energy. This is about like um, being in your own truth, but being able to just like patiently be there and observe and know your truth and know like that you're standing strong in your power, but you don't have to do anything with that. And then the mountain lion is like showing your truth and communicating it and showing leadership. So what I'm getting there is like, you know you want things to work with this situation. Those of you who chose reading two, let me move the rose quartz over here. You know how you feel about this situation. You know what you want to do. And so you're sticking with it. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean what it is is that you know you want to withdraw and stuff. Some of you might have done that energy very fast to learn more of what you truly want to do, which is like maybe that was good to set some more pacing and more boundaries, but you really, I'm seeing a lot of you want to keep going when it comes to this love situation, whoever this is about. Um, and of course, if you, especially if it's about yourself, of course you want to keep going. Um, Though sometimes we even face those hardships, of course, about just, like, continuing our own journey. But, <laughs> sorry if that was a little bit dark, but I do feel that dark vibe with this feather right here. So, and the Ace of Pentacles, because usually it's, like, about a new beginning. This says, Transition, Renewal, Evolution. So I do feel a renewal with this. I do feel an evolution. And I do feel with reading too, if this is about someone that you're currently with or seeing or you met someone recently and you're going through some bumps or you're both trying to move forward on your journeys and you're not sure 100% where things are going because it's just been so fast and fresh and new. I'm getting this is saying like there are many more cycles with you and this person 
is the main, main message for a lot of you. Of course, it's not going to resonate for others. Some of you, this is saying you're getting a fresh start and, it, and you know in your heart it's not with this situation. That's if this person that you're stepping away from is very toxic for you or you don't feel good about yourself with this person. Something like that, you know. If you don't feel good or safe or comfortable with the energy that you're in with people, you do not have to be with those people. You do not have to. You you do you are allowed to cut negative cords, energy, toxic people and situations out of your life. You you deserve to take care of yourself and have the absolute best for yourself on your journey. So those of you that that resonates with, this is saying, oh yeah, in the present moment, your whole truth of what you are communicating is your. You do not want this situation. You're like, no. You know, you're saying no very strongly. And then and then the love situation I'm getting for those of you where there's someone that it's not like that and it's just more like you're moving towards your dreams and towards your dreams is towards like is so far with this person. Like you would very much like that. Like it feels good so far. Everything so far has been good. Like, you know, this is saying there's gonna be more cycles to come and and it's like for a lot of you listening in that regard, this is a very beautiful thing. So go ahead and use your discernment there for those of you listening. And if that confused any of you, I'm sorry. That was not my intention. Um, I just kind of got that message um, because the weasel energy. But I do feel the majority of you, this is about someone that you're working things out with. And it's, it is kind of both those messages because... Even if you feel it's a good thing, what happens if the other person, let's take these as the two individuals, what if you and this person have different thoughts or ideas, or what if this person doesn't want to keep going on this path with you, then it's like, then yeah, this is saying this is a renewal with somebody else coming your way. And it could really be anything for anyone. So if you're hopeful that it's one or the other of those messages, if you're not sure, this reading does not confirm that, so, and no reading will. Nothing will confirm what's ever going to happen in the future. Only getting there is going to confirm what actually happens, you know. Experiencing it yourself is what's going to confirm what is what is going to happen in your reality. So, the card that came out in this deck for reading one is nothing is yet set in stone. So, that's a very strong message for everybody. All right, and then the future energy of what's happening, ooh, we see this is talking about milestones though. So there really is a collective of you listening where this is about like a relationship. Some of you are just already with somebody and it's maybe you've been in a relationship for a few years or maybe a few months or a few weeks. There's there's a, some different gaps there. But those of you who have been in some sort of relationship or made some progress with somebody, this is saying like the future energy coming through very strongly is more progress, more milestones. Time will tell is the bigger message for those of you who really don't know where things are going. And we kind of never know, you know, but you can work together. You can communicate. And in the communication, I do see coming through for a lot of you. Blue Heron. but And it's like, and then those of you, if you're not receiving communication, this is saying you don't need it. You know, if someone can't communicate with you and can't keep up with you, then you can go ahead and just say like, bye, Felicia. You know, <laughs> if you guys know that. It's not a saying. It's like a, it's like a, a reference and a meme. But uh, if you guys know that saying, you know, you can move forward and trust that there will be something new on the horizon. That's just for if, if that happens. But I'm just getting this is a lot of progress where you get a lot of time to think to yourself, and there's a lot of mirroring going on with the situation. We get the Nine of Pentacles. It goes from the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles with the Grouse about cycles continuing spiraling and expanding and to me the nine of pentacles is about both people putting in the fair share of work especially in this deck it's usually the card of like independence and stuff and it is i feel that but i'm getting like you're both so solid and independent in your own energy you're both okay with what happens that you're also both going to be honest and be able to trust where things go with each other or at least that's the idea. You're going to work towards building more trust with each other. And I do feel this is a trustworthy person. For those of you where you are you feel this is a trustworthy person, but you're just working through your own fears, a big confirmation I want to throw out there for a lot of you is that, yeah, 
I think you really can trust this person because I don't even know. I don't even have a reason really. I just think I just think it, it can be a good idea to have faith in in yourself and in this feeling of love that you keep picking up on. Yeah. Because if you feel good, that's kind of what matters, right? So let's get an advice card. This one. A win-win outcome is forecast. This is talking about like nothing being set in stone. It's like with or without this person working out with you, like you're golden, you're solid, you're being honest and speaking your truth and and taking action steps forward. And I am getting it is reciprocated here. I do feel you and this person will end up putting in the same effort and are putting in the same effort. It's showing like their words and their actions keep matching, you know? That's something that can help you know. If this person is saying things and then they actually follow through with what they say, that's a good sign. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> that's a good sign that they mean it and like maybe they just need more time. Maybe you need more time. And this whole, give this situation much more time, you know? I feel for some of you, this is something that's really fresh. And if it's something really fresh, then definitely I feel a positive vibe because all of you listening have really come a far way. You've come a long way and you kind of deserve something to actually work out for you in the long run. And, and I have a good feeling about this for pretty much all of you listening, so. That is what I'm getting for reading number two. I hope that was a sort of clear message. If it wasn't, my apologies. But if that was like a spot on reading for any of you listening, awesome. If any of you would like to look into your situation about anything with questions or just like a topic reading at all, you are totally welcome to book a reading with me. I will provide my services in the description box below so you guys can see how you can book a reading with me. I am switching up my system. I'm updating things. I'm gonna have like a booking website and everything. I don't know if it will be set up at the time I upload this video, but if any of you are kind of waiting for that opportunity to see how like my system and how it works and see like a calendar and everything, that is very well coming up. But please come book a reading with me if you want a reading, if you can get one. I'd very much appreciate that. I'm trying to open up my services more and really promote myself more because it's approaching the end of the month. <laughs> so I really need to, uh, maybe not try harder is the right word, but I really need to put myself out there and hope that this is being delivered to someone that might be able to get a reading from me or could benefit from one. So, And then of course, all of you listening, if you do not feel guided to get a reading, please do not get one. It is not necessary. Um, I will be okay. So yeah, thank you all for listening to those messages and I'll catch you all in another reading video. Take care. All right, so this is reading number three. Let's look into your love situation. We are going to do a bit of like a progression, like where you're at and where they're going. Some of you might be here. Some of you might be over here. And if that's the case, it, um, you know, there might be more to it, but we'll see. This one is going to be more of a timeline spread, I hope. So first we'll pull this oracle message. We get the high priestess of fire. So those of you who chose reading three, this is a very passionate connection 
you're in a very you're, your love situation you're in a very fiery place you feel a strong pull to go in a certain direction some of you that could very well be towards this person others of you you're feeling a very strong urge to go a different direction uh, definitely trust that but for the majority of you you're feeling this fire and this passion and this intensity and you feel very positive about it just listen to your passions and your desires like what do you think about what turns you on you know as like a more sexual message like kind of what feels good for you what feels right for you go towards that direction it might feel like it's not helping sometimes but I feel like it really will it'll give you a direction of where you want to go if you're not feeling the passion if you're not feeling the fire that's maybe saying like to go at it alone for a little bit of time and kind of figure other things out if you're feeling like you want to do that but you keep going back towards perhaps like addictions or behaviors or habits or um, any any indulgences at all or it's just feeling like anything that you could possibly look at it and think like maybe this is holding me back a good message from my own experience is like to definitely don't blame yourself definitely do not feel ashamed or feel like bad about yourself like I feel like there's always a deeper message behind what's going on there there's some other message going on of what it is that you're kind of craving and you deserve whatever that is in the in the healthiest way possible but it's okay to honor if it's not in the healthiest way possible that you could imagine it's okay to accept where you're at and just say like yes I do want this to be healthier and feel better but also yes this is where I am so those are some heavy messages hope that resonates I don't know if I hope necessarily but like I, I hope that if that resonates that that helps you guys feel not so alone or wrong to be into whatever you're into or to be doing whatever you're doing we get the king of wands there is this very fiery energy so i am getting that message i was talking about you, those of you listening you've already kind of overcome a lot of that and you already understand what what i'm talking about about how like it's there's no use feeling bad or ashamed about that it's you deserve to feel good about yourself and to not feel wrong or something like that Ooh, all fire energy we get the six of wands now so i am getting like yeah you've overcome all that stuff i talked about so a lot of you listening with your love situation you figure that stuff out you're now like all right i just want to have more confidence with this and feel better about this and move forward so there is a lot of independent individual like singular energy so number three some of you you know there is a more single energy coming through here, but there's still, I feel, some of you listening where you can very well have met someone or you're with someone currently or something like that. Um, but yeah, that is what I'm getting for your love situation recently. You've been really learning about your passion and how to move forward. Um, and it doesn't have to just be like feelings and sex and romance. This could be passion towards career as well. but. Of course, this is a love reading, so we're going to gear towards the love messages. The present energy, we've got healing, so it's like, yeah, it's like, now you're very much doing this confident, passionate energy in your own space. So I think those messages are combining. You, I feel like some of you, maybe if there's someone in the picture, you're wondering, this might sound silly, but some of you are, are like, wondering, like, whether it's okay to think about them. Or to feel so strongly about them and Grove is telling me it is this person is safe because if they weren't you wouldn't be thinking or feeling about them you know you wouldn't have such strong desires in that direction so there's something safe about this love situation Ooh, four of Pentacles and the king of swords so we do get two kings here so To me, this is saying, like, right now you're in a more safe space and you are going to have to be a little more courageous, a little more brave. Um, when it comes to your next steps forward, so those of you listening three and three, there is a bit of a crossroads here with the way you can handle things. You can stay reserved and keep taking that time to yourself. Which I think is a solid message. I feel that it is very important for you. 
um, but there are certain changes that you could make with your own journey. I'm seeing your stability and safety and security is very important to you, but I am getting like, sometimes you're going to have to take those risks and, and kind of live life to the fullest today instead of tomorrow, you know? Like if you're always being careful, if you're always afraid or trying to be safe, who knows what you'll never, you know, who knows what like could be created or what opportunities could be out there for you. So this is like some of you might be hermiting away or like, you know, and I'm just seeing like where that all went in the present energy. You guys are kind of leaning towards taking those risks, just making the decisions, choosing to make quick decisions that yeah, they're impulsive, but also these also are like, they make sense to you. They seem like a good idea. They seem like worth the shot, worth the risk, you know? So I am seeing you guys are taking calculated risks here, and that's a very positive energy. So yeah, reading three, this, I feel like almost this love situation has more to just do with like where you're at on your journey. And it's, this isn't really where you're at with the person per se. But this is just where you're at with your journey. This is more like almost like your life reading, career, life, self-love, you know. This is focused in on yourself and figuring out how to um, get grounded with your energy and be able to live your life to the fullest and really feel that way and really feel like you're healing and that things are coming together and seeing it come together. You're, you're, you're learning. You actually have solid energy for that. This is kind of saying... Spirit's kind of telling you, like, yeah, maybe by the full moon in Taurus, which is on November 12th, or the full moon, wherever you guys are at. This is a timeless message, so you guys might be listening to this at a whole different time that I upload it. So I do feel by the full moon, there's going to be certain things that come together that really show you that, yes, you are well on your way for your journey, for life coming together for you. So let's get this future message. We've got the Six of Swords. Look at that. See how there's like this boat going towards peace and then there's this bridge transitioning towards tranquility and where butterflies go. Butterflies go to peaceful situations. They're not going to go surrounded by like dangerous like fire and like lizards that can like like eat them and stuff. You know, like these butterflies are going to go somewhere they feel safe. So the future energy, the decision you made was the safe one which was by making the change, which was by letting go of certain security and stability and instead um, just making those moves. Instead of waiting and waiting, you, you took action. You took matters into your own hands. You did things yourself. And you also did that in a way where you were also just healing and taking care of yourself. So you weren't forcing anything either. And it's showing that it's bringing a lot of peace you're on this path to peace. You're not gonna. You're not gonna go back to where you were. You're gonna move forward to a, an even better place. You're like Knight of Swords. This really strong air energy. Notice how you went all from fire, King of Wands, High Priestess of Fire, Six of Wands, all of that cycling into King of Swords, air energy, pay, or Knight of Swords and Six of Swords. It's actually very interesting this is the night to me this is talking about communication so you're going into a place where you have so much more time to communicate and be with people that you want to talk to and stuff so that's very that's good <gasps> going on with the fledgling which is also saying like because there's so much more to learn in that direction you see that if you go in that direction there's so much more opportunity to learn something some new stuff for yourself instead of this four of pentacles energy where nothing ever happens nothing really changes there so i'm seeing you're going in a direction that's bringing you a lot of growth a lot of healing with that grove card and a lot of learning with this fledgling card and <coughs> you have this strong desire to learn and it looks like there's a lot of communication and truth and understanding and so much more time to work through and learn where you're heading on your journey so that is very exciting let's get an advice message we'll get an advice message for the present energy and this upcoming future energy so the advice for right now we've got full moon in pisces balance spirituality and practicality so that is saying to 
yeah, balance out that stable energy of like needing security, but also make sure that you're healing and meditating or um, if meditating is not really a word you vibe with, um, finding more fulfillment on your journey outside of just being safe and, and this stability, but like, like, you know, living life, the thrill, fun, pleasure, joy, balance those energies out. Don't sacrifice one over the other. Don't sacrifice your safety. Don't sacrifice your joy. Keep both. It can be fun and safe, you know? So that's the advice coming through. And then your advice for the for this future energy, which I feel this future energy is actually like, let's see, today is like the 24th. I think this future energy is this next like week, but yeah, like by the 27th. We get, this card came out for my advice for reading too. A win-win outcome is forecast, and this is kind of saying, oh, those are, hang on, those are specific messages um, for, for me, because there's this whole situation between a Pisces and a Libra. <laughs> so some of you might be a Pisces and be dealing with a Libra, some of you might be a Libra dealing with a Pisces, or you could be a water sign dealing with an air sign. All the elements come, on, come in here, because there's this pentacles for Earth, but I feel reading three more likely than not, you are going to be a water, air, or fire sign. And less likely, you will be an earth sign. But you totally can be an earth sign. And if you're an earth sign, maybe like Taurus. But yeah, you guys can be anyone, of course. It doesn't really matter that the whole, all this astrology. Or, I mean, it does matter, but like, it's okay if like, you're not a Pisces or Libra and this is resonating with you. The message coming through here is that this seems quite balanced and stable. Those of you listening for reading three, you could very well be in a partnership with someone where you're both stepping outside of certain comfort zones or trying certain things. Um, you're both meeting halfway. You're both putting in the effort. Like Pisces, look at this balanced energy here, with the, the two fish. And then Libra, look at the scale with the, you know, it's balanced. So this is saying like you and this individual, you, as your love's reading, um, you and your partner, those of you listening that you have a partner or there's someone you've met, this looks like you're both, you've got a lot to learn with each other and with yourselves. So you found a really safe and fun friendship, connection, partnership, you know. Any of you, if you're single, if you have not met somebody, the message coming through is like, this is just, like, you, that person exists. You're learning right now. You and that person are learning, even if you have not met. And definitely this upcoming energy, that person and you are a lot more ready to, to meet. So... And then for those of you I, that have not met someone, I do feel this message is saying it's going to take a lot more time. It might be like a year if like, and if that sounds painful or like a lot, that will also be kind of a bit of a message for you saying like, well, that exactly your journey by yourself shouldn't be so painful. <coughs> you also don't have to wait that long, you know. Um, I feel like some of you are like, okay, like I'm trying to find love. It's like. I don't know, it's complicated how it all works out, but I'm getting those of you, if it's gonna take a lot longer, it's because you really do need that much more time to learn certain things about yourself on your journey. Learning how to find the positive in your situation, learning how to find the best decision for you from a day-to-day -day basis, from a moment-by-moment -moment basis, and you've been getting there day by day, and like, I am so proud of you guys where it's like you've been learning really how to take care of yourself and stuff. Those are all the messages from the cars. The rest of this is just like, good job, everybody. Like, um, life is, you know, it's enjoying. It's meant to be enjoyed and stuff. But it is hard. It is very hard work to um, to really enjoy our time and trust and, and have fun and, and take care of ourselves and, like, understand and be in a place where we enjoy taking care of ourselves and it's it's a lot of hard work so yeah depending on where you guys are at if you're single if you feel like you've been doing a lot 
and you've been getting there, maybe the next step with that fledgling, uh, fledgling card, saying maybe you're feeling it's about time for you to put yourself out there, maybe try a dating app or um, um, go to like the plaza that's by your place or go to that cafe that you like to go to and randomly compliment somebody's watch. <gasps> I did that, but like two, like almost two years ago, and in a physics class. But um, and I just did because I was I liked that watch and I wanted to introduce myself, you know. So, yeah, maybe um, reach out to some, meet some new people is some is something that some of you are going to be more ready for right now. And if you're not ready for that, then like that's okay too. And it it doesn't have to be one year like I was saying earlier. It could be like one month. It could be a few months, but. There's definitely a message in for reading three that there's some of you listening that know like you're not ready right now or or that the vice versa of that is that you've worked very long and hard and you're you're feeling it's about time for the love stuff to start working out for you. So that is the that's the kind of like the biggest message. To be honest, I would say like that's a huge message coming in for reading three. Um of all three readings like that message of like you've really waited a long time and you've worked really hard on your journey and of, of like living your life and stuff and trying to figure things out so that's it for reading number three thank you so much for listening if you liked that reading if you would like to get a reading from me please book a reading with me check that out in the description box below big changes are coming to this channel um, getting like a booking website and everything set up so I don't know if that will be set up at the time I upload this video but it definitely will be upload uh, set up like within the next one to two weeks so um, and there's gonna be a sale with that so stay tuned to that if any of you reach out and get a reading from me right now um, it will be with those sale prices though we might not book it through the website because it still needs to get more set up but I will definitely be scheduling in like the readings so you'll know exactly when you will receive your reading and stuff so yeah that's all my messages just trying to put myself out there more because um, I need to keep doing that <laughs> um, but all right that's everything so thank you for listening and I hope you all have a really good good day or night or whatever time it is that you're hearing this all right, see you all in another video. Take care.